So BPR render to Photoshop. This is a quick guide how you can begin BPR rendering in ZBrush. Position your canvas like how you want to have your render appear. Go to document, Z app link, click custom one. That way, if you move your canvas, go back to custom one and it will reposition your screen. Go to light and position it according to your need. Go to render, details to four, turn on ambient occlusion. Go to BPR shadow, Turn angle to 30 or more. Raise to 400. BPR AO raise to 400 and resolution to 1000. And turn this as pix to 7. Press Shift R to render. It could take a while because of raise value we have increased. Now go to BPR render pass and export these images in PSD format. Don't save this composite image because you won't need it. In Photoshop, import all these maps one by one. Hide above layers while selecting depth. Change blend mode to soft light. Change the value of opacity and fill. Select AO, change blend mode to multiply, adjust opacity and fill. You can also apply levels to it by pressing Ctrl L. BPR shadow again, apply multiply, adjust opacity and fill and play with levels. Go to layer, flatten image, import BPR mask. Select BPR mask and click on the magic wand tool, click on it, press Ctrl C. Go back to original image, press Ctrl V and it will use the marks on the image and copy paste our subject. Now create a background layer, place it on the bottom. Choose two colors. Choose gradient tool and use on the selected layer. Now you can just paint over your image however you want. I am not gonna be showing you how I approach to composite the image using brushes in this video. This is something I can make a separate tutorial out of. The point of the tutorial is to show you quickly how you can export and import render passes properly in Photoshop. I hope you like this video. Hit like button, subscribe to the channel. Until see you next time.